pick the ones that are most important. You know, yeah. Um, so the, the Green Party is a woman-led party. We have a woman leader. Can you tell us a little bit about um, your path and whether it was easy to become a, a Nobel Prize winner well, as a woman in I'm economics? I'm very, very appreciative of the recognition. Um, I certainly had an early period that was representing a struggle, um, but I was able to um, work my way through college. Um, I um, worked about 30 hours a week um, um, uh, doing cleaning the kitchen, carrying the dishes, uh, filling uh, and a five and ten and all the rest. But uh, uh, I got enough practice in overcoming obstacles uh, from the age of, well, from high school on, that uh, I've never seen a big obstacle uh, as big as most people have seen the obstacle. It was there to be overcome. Okay. Um, your work talks about the fact that under circumstance, some certain some circumstances we can overcome the tragedy of the commons. Yes. Could you briefly tell me more about that? Well, uh, not briefly since it's 30 <laughs> years of work, but um, uh, when people know one another and trust one another uh, and, sh and they have the sense that the others are going to contribute, there is willingness to jointly contribute. Uh, but it takes ways of learning who else is involved, what are they doing, um, uh, how can I, uh, how can I achieve that trust? Okay. Um, you, I've seen interviews where you've you've done, and you've said maybe we should consume less and consume more carefully to look after the earth. This is quite unusual view for an economist. Do you want to tell me more about this? I'm a political economist. And, yeah. Um, uh, no, uh, uh, if you're born poor like I was, uh, and um, uh, you got most of your clothes in second-hand clothes, you know, in Goodwill stores, uh, I didn't know about fancy uh, uh, consumption. Yeah, so you're saying that generally we should consume more carefully to look after the environment? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've heard you refer to the seven generation rule, that oh. when we make policies we should respect the next seven generations. Well, no, I'm, I'm indicating that it is a indigenous uh, rule in North America, the indigenous uh, people. Yeah, because uh, 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 it's from the Iroquois, isn't it? Yeah, and um, uh, the, uh, that this is a very nice way of thinking. Um, that um, uh, we can learn from people who, in some instances, uh, the way, uh, in terms of the U.S., the way we treated the indigenous people was terrible. Um, we did not respect them, and I respect them, and uh, I, I picked that uh, rule out as one of the things that uh, leads, should lead us to respect them more. Excellent. Um, and I would like to see everyone use that. Yeah, definitely. I, I, it's possibly a difficult question, but I've wondered why it's seven generations, not six or five. And I don't know. <laughs> no. um, so you, you talk about your approach being polycentric. Mm -hmm. What what does that mean? Well, uh, uh, not at a single level. So that a yeah. lot of, of presumption is that we have to go to the very top to solve every problem. And uh, most of the uh, problems that we face today are difficult and multi-tiered. Yeah and we need to be uh, working uh, polycentrically with a very small, medium, uh, somewhat larger, larger, some, and both. Yeah. Uh, we need all of them. Uh, so it's not just local and it's not just global. Yeah. Could you tell me a little bit more specifically about combating climate change, particularly uh, dealing with climate change from a, a local level? Well, uh, the, I gave a talk on it uh, while I was yesterday, um, but uh, there are communities that are uh, beginning to find ways of helping individual families save money over the long run <coughs> by putting an investment in their uh, homes uh, so that um, I just put in solar um, and uh, the initial investment is fairly substantial, but um, in Berkeley 
um, you can get an estimate on uh, re, uh, doing the insulation in your home or solar or yeah. other things. And uh, if that's approved by the city, uh, they give you a 20-year loan yeah. at low interest. Well, yeah. uh, that is a very positive thing that can be done yeah. locally. And there are lots and lots of efforts to uh, uh, reduce greenhouse gases locally, even though their people say, well, that doesn't make a difference. Yeah. It cumulatively does. Yeah. So, um, I mean, a lot of people are very pessimistic at the moment, and there's been things like Obama's Keystone decision, but you're very optimistic about dealing with the environment. If we can uh, uh, begin to realize uh, that we can make a difference. So yeah. I'm optimistic in, in a way of trying to solve a collective action yeah. problem yeah. at multiple scales. Yeah. Um, well, I'll ask you a couple more things. Um, I think ideas of collaborative consumption and social sharing maybe give us ways of using resources more efficiently. Would you, you agree with that? Yes. Okay. Um, just trying to think what else I'll ask you. Um, yeah, I'll ask you about Beverly Hill School because that's really interesting. So you went, you went to Beverly Hill School. Well, I, my parents uh, had a piece of, of land in LA that happened to touch. Yeah. And so I was the poor kid in this rich kid's high school. But what was very good is that the education that uh, they provided uh, at Beverly High was very, very high and very good. And so it gave me an opportunity in terms of getting started on college that I wouldn't have had otherwise. Yeah. Okay, one final thing. And, I've... Uh, you know, a little <laughs> bit of embarrassment. Uh, I, uh, kids counted uh, how many cashmers you had and things yeah. like that. I didn't have any, but that's not. Okay, one, one thing I was going to ask you, which is more specific, which is more out of my interest. Um, your husband, Vincent, was interested in common poor resources. Well, in, in and uh, I, governance. Yeah, and I'm just interested how he got interest in commons and whether there are other people who looked at commons well, before the, the both of you. Well, his interest was on the governance side yeah. and the policy-centricity. It yeah. was his article with TiVo in 1961 that started the whole focus on policy-centricity. Uh, he is very interested in um, uh, federalism and yeah. uh, various ways of doing governance that are not single level and has written extensively yeah. and very, very dramatically on this topic. Okay, thank you very much. Okay.